Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Some of you have been asking me about my shelf DIYs, so I thought I would put them all into one video for you guys. And then I have three of these wooden signs. I'm just taking out the little twine hanger from each of them. And then I have two of these home signs. And I am just going to do the same. I'm going to take off the greenery and then take off the home part and also the twine hanger. And then I was careful taking off the home piece because I wanted to reuse them and I'm not really in that into stuff that says home and blessed and family and all that but I thought these were cute and they were black and I love black so I decided to keep them to put back on this shelf that I'm making so I fill in the holes with some wood filler and it says it's stainable but it's not, you <laughs> can see it. <laughs> Apparently, if you didn't fill them in, you probably wouldn't really notice them. You could always put the half barrels on the holes and then on the other side to cover them up if you wanted to. And then I took this scraper tool from Dollar Tree and I scraped off all the extra glue that was where the home sign was. And I also used the scraper tool to scrape the extra glue off the home sign and I did that to both of them. And, uh, well that part I didn't come off as easy as the other parts. And then I just sanded it down with a sanding block from Dollar Tree. And then I painted it with some ink Waverly chalk paint. And then I gave all these planks a quick sand along all the edges and where the wood filler was. Then I stained it with some Waverly antique wax. And then I got some of the Dollar Tree Super Glue wood glue to glue it all together and then I just put it on two sides at the bottom and then I put some hot glue in the middle and then it was a bit tricky getting these shelves to stay up because they are so long So what I did was I got some tumbling tower blocks and I just glued one underneath each shelf to the little step on the ladder and then the bottom of the shelf. And that held it in, in place and I was supposed to go and paint them, stain them later on if I forgot and then I could be bothered. <laughs> so I just did that for all three shelves on both sides. And just let your glue set before you do the next side because and then I'd put the glue on the wrong shelf. <laughs> I just did the same but I did them all at the one time. And then, yeah, because I wanted to put the hot glue on it and try and get it all in place before the hot glue set. And then I just did the same thing with the tower blocks. And these shelves, they are a wee bit wobbly. Oh, but if you're going to have them like against the wall or something, then it won't matter. But you could always put some skewers or something like a crisscross on the back if you wanted to make it a bit more sturdy. Um, but I didn't bother. 
and I wouldn't put anything too heavy on them but you'll see at the end that you could still put quite a lot of stuff on them if you're going to put anything heavier put it at the sides and not in the middle and then I just hot glued the home sign to each side and then this is how it turned out and I actually like how the, the home side looks on it it's not usually my thing but I actually quite like it but you guys can let me know what you think down in the comments below yeah, watching this back I have some more ideas for these wee ladder shelves so if there's any more in my Dollar Tree I will pick them up so let me know if you want to see more So you did four of these boxes for this DIY because you're going to need 286 blocks <laughs> and some wood glue. So I glued together 12 of these three tower blocks end to end. And then 12 of these which are four blocks. And this is another project you could make it wider or skinnier if you wanted to you could make it taller and this is eight um of six blocks glued end to end but i ended up adding another two blocks on each end of these later on because it wasn't tall enough for my shelf so you need eight by eight blocks And here I am, I am just doing the same thing as I did before. I'm gluing the geometric beads in the same way. So for the sets of three, you need nine, you need nine beads each. And I did use 222 beads for this. <laughs> so if you buy a bag of beads, you get 300 in it and that's enough to make all three of these projects. And this one will take you a bit longer, but it's worth it in the end. So this is the four blocks and you need 12 beads for each of these. So there will also there'll be six of these. There are six of the ones with the three blocks in them. And then there's four of the ones with the... It's going to be eight blocks by the end of it. <laughs> So here and you need well here there's 18 there's 18 beads in each of these but when you make it bigger you're gonna need 24 beads in each and it's just the same um, style as the other pieces and just make sure that you clean off any glue that is in between the beads because when you stain it, you don't want any of that to show up. Although sometimes you'll get a wee bit, can't help it. <laughs> and make sure you let all your pieces dry properly before you go on to the next step. Sometimes I don't because I'm filming, but just make sure that you do. So I'm making shelves and these are nine blocks by, um, by four blocks and I made three of them. Again, if you wanted, you could make them three by nine or three by six, or you could make more shelves if you want to. So since I am making this as I go along, <laughs> I'll show you how I messed it up and what you should do to fix it. Because sometimes I don't know until I make things how it is in my head doesn't quite work out and you have to make it to figure out what would be better. Here I'm making six sets of two tower blocks joined end to end and these are going to go in the middle of the set of three tower blocks long and then I'm gluing six sets of three tower blocks together and these are going to go in the middle of the four tower blocks long you see in that space 
in between the tower blocks. You could glue this bit on earlier if you wanted to, but since I'm making this as I go along, I realized I needed it when I was going to put the shelves together. So I'm just gluing them together like this. And you need to leave the corners like this because that's where your legs are going to go. I'm just gluing the base now and I'm just gluing all the corners and then I'm going to stand up the long parts, one in each corner. And then this is when I realised that it was going to be not enough space between each shelf so I had to make some more pieces to add on to the top and these pieces are just two tower blocks long so earlier on instead of making them six along you make them six tower blocks I mean eight tower blocks long <laughs> eight tower blocks long so I just glued them on top sometimes you have to make the stuff to see what you're going to need and how it's going to work out and now I'm just gluing the middle shelf on and I'm lining it up with the geometric bead you see there so make sure it's lined up with them on all sides And then I'm gluing the other shelf right at the top. If you wanted to, you could do an extra tower block and put it on the bottom with the beads so it looks like legs. I mean feet. <laughs> it looks like feet at the bottom. I just thought of that just now. You could do that. So I had to cut down a couple of pieces of tower block for each shelf. Well, four for each corner just to join it all together and make it stronger. If you have those wee cube squares from Tower Block, from Tower Block, <laughs> from Dollar Tree, you could use them. So I did one of those in each corner and now I am gluing on some half beads for feet. And then on the top, I'm gluing on the 10 miller 10 millimeter beads to cover up those wee holes then I stained it with some early American wood stain and this is how it turned out and I love it <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna put it but I will find somewhere some projects are just worth spending the extra time to make and then you can turn out with something really beautiful There's first DIY, you need two of the 72 block tower block backs and I'm using some Dollar Tree super glue wood glue and then I'm going to glue together six blocks in a line and I'm going to make two of these and then I'm going to glue uh, three sets of two tower blocks together and this is to make a ladder and I'm only going to show you we make it one of them but I do make two and then I'm using the square ruler so that this will all be level and then I just glue the three pieces on and then I make sure that I wipe all the glue off and then I'm just gluing on some of these wee half beads on the other side of the ladder. And there's my other ladder I made. And I also made three of these and they are four blocks by 
six blocks, you know, four by six. And then I'm just gluing them on to make a wee ladder shell because everybody liked the little mini ladders I found in Dollar Tree and I couldn't find any more so I thought I would just make them myself. And this is well, <laughs> this is what it looks like when it's all glued together. And I had to get some of these clips. And you don't have to, you could always sit something heavy on top, but if you have them then use them. And I stain it with the Waverly Antique Wax. And this is how it turned out. It's just a wee shelf you can put wee trinkets on. And I think it turned out really cute. But you guys can let me know what you think down below in the comments. For this next DIY, you need two more of the 72 block packs of Trevor blocks. And then I made two more. I need to pay more attention because the camera ran out again. <laughs> the battery ran out when I was filming. So I put the first um, ladder step at the top of the first um, tower block and then I did it at the top of, well, yeah, the top of the third <laughs> one and then I went up three again and glued it there and then I glued on those wee half beads on the other side and I made two ladders and now I'm going to make the little boxes. So I'm just going to show you one and it is seven blocks by two so you need 14 blocks for the bottom and then you need four blocks for each side and I just glued them on like this and then I press them down and sort of put them in position and then just make sure you wipe off any of the glue that comes out and then I just put the other ones on top and I made three of these I always make sure you wipe the excess glue. So here's my two ladders and I'm gluing them on with the shortest part of the ladder at the bottom and then I left that to dry so that I could glue on the next piece and I just glued this ladder and then I turned it over and glued it this way. So that's why you need to make sure your glue sets first. And you could put something heavy on it if you want, but mine's dried fine. And I just made sure I wiped off all the excess glue. And then I stained it with the Waverly Antique Wax. You could stain it before you put it all together, but I like to build the stuff before I do. And I found more of the metal ribbon, so I bought all the ones, the different patterns that they had and I bought a few of each and I'm just measuring where I need to cut it and I'm going to fold it over at the edges so, so I made sure it was going to be long enough to fold around the tower blocks and I made three of them <laughs> So I just measured and cut three of them and easy, it's easy just to cut with the scissors and I was going to make another DIY that you can see I've got a plaster well you guys call it band-aid <laughs> on my finger because I cut it when I was cooking so I ended up just doing finishing off this DIY and I'm and I paint the ribbon with some Spanish moss 
chalk paint. I think it's by Folk Art. I think so. <laughs> and I just dab it on with a sponge um, brush. And I gave it two coats of this. And I really like this colour, but I didn't think that the silver goes with the Waverly Antique Wax. I don't know, you might like it, but I didn't really like how it looked, so I decided to paint it. And then, so I tried to hot glue it on, but obviously you can't put too much hot glue because it has so many little cutout pieces and you don't really want to see the glue. So I tried to do that, it didn't work. I tried some gem tag but it was like too sloppy everywhere. So I used the Dollar Tree Fix All and I just put a little dab in the middle of each of the little flower things and then I used these clips to hold it down and it wasn't perfect but it was better than when I tried it with a hot glue. So if you haven't got these clips, I don't know, maybe just clothespins. <laughs> I don't know why I was trying to put that little one on. <laughs> but this is how it turned out. And I just filled it with some succulents and Spanish moss. And I think it turned out really pretty. And I'm glad that I put that green colour on the ribbon. And this last DIY, I have four of these houses and then I made 12 of these tower blocks with three tower blocks each in them and I painted everything with the plaster Waverly chalk paint. And I have two packs of stickers and if you wanted to completely cover the back as well, then I would get three packs but I'm not covering the back, <laughs> so... So I just spaced them out um, in the middle of each side, except the back. <laughs> and the, the, these packets were sticky, but you can always glue them if you want to. And if you space them out more, you wouldn't need three packs. But I decided to put them closer together so they don't fit all the way around. So I just did those sides that you could see me doing on each one. Although I'm off camera there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, that's what I did. And I did it for all of them. And now I'm going to take some super glue, wood glue from Dollar Tree. And then, yeah, so for these, I'm going to have two with the arrow part facing one way and two with it facing the other way. But you can have them all facing the same way if you want. And then I just use some wood glue and I glue these pieces in place. And I did that for three of them and then I painted four of these little wooden cubes to make little legs. And I painted them with the plaster paint and then I glued them down with some wood glue. Then once all that was dry, I used some hot glue and some wood glue on each piece so that I could stick it together. And there you see I did one arrow, it's like an arrow facing one way and then the next one facing the other way and then but that one will be facing the same way. And then I just stack them up and you can fill them with whatever you like, you could just make them little 
tear tray or you can fill it with the succulents it's up to you i did a bit of both but anyway you can let me know what you guys think i just love how this turned out i don't know where i'm going to put it <laughs> For this next DIY I have four hexagon mirrors and I'm just going to take the mirror and the back of each one and I didn't show you but I painted the two white ones with some ink Waverly chalk paint. I was going to spray them all but I thought I had some black spray paint. I must have used it and forgotten. <laughs> So I'm going to take all the tabs out of the black ones because they are going to go on the sides and I have in my head how something is going to be <laughs> but then I have to work it out while I'm making it. So I took all these tabs off but I ended up, I wasn't going to put the mirror on the back but I had to uh, put it back on because I made it more stable. And then this is where I painted them and I used this Krylon matte finish. And then I'm using the Dollar Tree Fix All, but if you had the E6000 or something that would be better because I don't think this glue is that good, but that's what I have. <laughs> and some hot glue. And I thought that it would hold this, but it didn't. But then I didn't really wait for it to dry either. Because <laughs> I was trying to get finished. So I'm just gluing them on top. And I had the frames both facing the same way so that the, the back of the frame would they both be facing the back because you're not going to see the back and this is where I had to take a couple more of those tabs off because I was going to glue the side parts to the outside of the top and bottom parts but then I changed my mind and did it the other way around And I glued this on top. And that ring light is really pretty. <laughs> Sorry about that. And this is when I put the mirror back on the bottom. And you could do that before you put it all together if you wanted to. Oh, I have to find the other screws because I decided that I was going to put this on the back again. So I just screwed them all back in place. And you can get these wee screwdriver set at Dollar Tree. It comes in handy. So I just screwed them all back in place. And see, I didn't wait for it to dry. <laughs> so I decided I needed to use some craft sticks. So I just cut them down and then I glued them to the back. And then I glued one on, <laughs> on the inside and then I glued one to the top and the bottom of the front and then that made it sturdy. But I also glued a tower block at the top of the inside.
and then I painted the wood black and then I used some wood glue and then I put some of those little beads on the front so it looked like screws or something <laughs> and then I painted those black as well and this is how it turned out and yeah I love how it turned out I already glued together three sets of four tower blocks and then three sets of 12 tower blocks and I glued them in the opposite direction and you could do three, I mean four sets of 12 tower blocks if you wanted to but I wanted to have the long edge and the long side um, showing around the outside of the square instead of having the little end showing. So for the next layer I am just measuring where I want to cut the tower blocks and then and then I cut them down with the little saw and I will leave the link down below if you're interested. It's quite handy. Handy to have especially if you want to make these DIYs. <laughs> so then I just cut it, cut the blocks down and then I keep gluing them together in a square and you can slow down the video or you could pause it when I finish the square so you can see how I laid out the blocks and I did do this um, in the, my last tower block video but for this DIY I'm only going to do four layers And then I'm just doing the same thing for the next layer. And this layer was easy because I didn't have to cut down the blocks. Well, I can't remember if I said, but I only took two of the 72 block packs of tower blocks <laughs> to make this DIY. And for the video, for everything in the video, I used seven packs, I think seven packs, but this DIY I use it to make the next DIY as well. So you would need another two packets if you wanted to make them all. And then this is the last layer. And just make sure you wipe off any excess glue because you don't want to have that showing when you paint it or stain it. Then I made four of these and they are 12 blocks. So I just glue six of them in a row and then another six and then I glue those two rows together. And you can choose to make this part longer or shorter, it's up to you. After the glue set, I took the pieces and then I started gluing them together. I'm going from the biggest one to the smallest one. And just try and get an equal space around the outside of each one. Yeah, so it looks like a step pattern. And I'm okay, for the next DIY, I made one of the biggest squares and then I made two of each of the other ones. And then I just glue them together like this. Just the same way as I did in the last DIY. I glue these one, one set on top and then I turn it over and then I glue the other set. And then the, well, the middle part, I made four more of them and I only have six in a row, but after I made it, 
I took it upstairs to where I was going to put it and I wasn't tall enough so I ended adding on another two so basically another four blocks for each row and then it should look like this when you're finished <laughs> And I stained it with the Waverly Antique Wax. And then I made some feet. And I ended up making these longer by adding another two blocks to each one. Well, there were two blocks high. Because <laughs> I wanted it to rest against the wall, flush against the wall. And you guys call the baseboard what we call it a skirting board in Scotland and I had to make it a bit taller so that it would be taller than that <laughs> and here I am I just turned it upside down so that I could glue these parts in and then I glued the middle part and you don't have to glue those parts inside the square you could put them on the edge in the corner because that would give you more room to put stuff on because the squares are quite small so that's up to you if you want to do that and then I glued the legs on the bottom but I didn't put them to the edge so that they wouldn't interfere with the baseboard <laughs> and then once all that was dry I just glued it to the other part and then this is how it turned out and I love it. It looks so pretty when I come up the stairs and see it. Now I made this to fit in that space but you could make it wider if you wanted to or taller if you wanted to. You could put more another shelf in it if you wanted. I had to film it straight up and down because it didn't. You need three of the 72 block tower block packs for this DIY. And then I'm using the super glue, wood glue again. And I have these little signs from Dollar Tree. And I did get five because originally I was going to make this five of them high. But then once I had stained it and stuff, and I decided just to make it three high. <laughs> so I'm just putting tower blocks all around the front and the sides, but not the back. And I started at the corners. So yeah, originally I was only going to put tower blocks on the top and the bottom, and then the shelves were just going to be the way they are. <laughs> But then I decided to put tower blocks on all of them and then I decided I didn't want to make a big tower because I don't need another one. <laughs> and I decided to yeah make it with three of these and then use the other two to make a tray. So you'll see that in the next DIY. And for the front, you just have to space them a tiny wee bit. They don't fit like uh, flush together so obviously you can make this as high as you want but you could also you'll see me in the next DIY put two of, uh, glue two of these together side by side well back to back really and then you could always do that and make your shelves like that and have a much bigger shelf, a wider shelf, so it's up to you. And now I'm just putting some of these smaller beads to cover the holes for the top of the shelf. Also, if you wanted to, you could make it like, you don't have to turn it upside down for the top shelf. 
you can have the tower blocks facing up the way and then have an extra shelf put some plants in the top if you wanted to and I also put the bigger beads on the bottom shelf to make wee feet and then now I'm just making the the what are they called? <laughs> the parts to hold up the shelves <laughs> so I made eight of them but then I realised that if I want to put the top shelf upside down well the top upside down I need to add on an extra two tower blocks so there'll be four that have eight tower blocks and then four that have ten tower blocks and I also made three or, um, three rows of ten blocks, I glued them together and then you need another six single blocks and I stained it with the Minwax Early American Wood Stain so here's all my pieces and I'm just going to glue the the four high pieces to the bottom shelf in the corners so I was thinking I was going to just glue the shelves to a back make, or make it enclosed at the back but then I decided not to because it's just far too many blocks <laughs> so making a, an easier shelf for you guys and then the back I had to do you need 12 but they don't fit all the way across so you just glue one block to the each end and then you have to blue it blue. You have to glue the row of ten in the middle, and it doesn't. They don't. It doesn't touch, but it'll, uh, the back will touch those pieces sticking up, and you won't notice it because it's at the back. It's just gonna look like that. <laughs> and then I did the taller pieces for the next shelf. And I just did the exact same thing. And if you wanted to have the top facing the same way up as these two shelves, then obviously just make those pieces four high and not five high or five blocks high I decided to add on a couple of blocks I did it this way then I thought you won't be able to fit as much stuff on the shelf <laughs> so I turned it around and I did that on each shelf and I did end up adding another two blocks and so it would be three blocks on this part and then I just stained them at the end So for this one, I just put those blocks on the side. And then I glued it on top. I thought it would be easier if I did it this way around Yeah, 
Yeah, I had to put on new feet because I had to use that tray. I mean, that one for the tray. <laughs> and I stained, I just stained them. The, the tower blocks and the half beads after I had everything had dried. So for this part, I just put a tower block underneath each of these parts and then I glued it in place and then I turned it uh, the right way up and then I put some heavy paint bottles on top until it dried and then this is me adding in the extra tower blocks And this is how it turned out, and I love it. I think it turned out so beautiful. Of course you could use any stain that you like for it, but I really love this early American stain just now. And you can just make it into a planter, or you can have it as wee shelves. For this DIY, I already glued together seven rows of three blocks and then I'm just showing you me doing the last row. So you need eight of these. And then I have three of the bigger size houses. I gave them one coat of Mountain Blue Apple Barrel paint. Except I didn't paint the inside because I like the stripes on it. But you can paint that if you want to. And then I just took a sanding block that got from Dollar Tree and then just lightly distressed the houses and the other pieces. I have some of the metal ribbon from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to measure and cut how much I'm going to need. And for to do the three of them, one bowl was enough and I had a tiny wee bit left over. And you don't have to put the metal ribbon on all of the shelves if you don't want to. But I wanted to put them on all of them. <laughs> and it cuts really easy with some scissors. And to glue it down, I'm going to use some Scotch Maximum Strength Adhesive. And you can use uh, whatever one that you have. So they actually fit, the pattern fit perfectly from one end to the other with the um, the middle one on the point. Like it fit perfect, I'm so tough with that. But I'm using clamps and a hammer and I got this wee hammer on Amazon so I'll link that down below as well. And I'm just using the hammer to flatten it and bend it around the corners. And then I'm putting the glue in the middle of the ribbon and then uh, wiping away any excess and then using the clamps from Dollar Tree to clamp it down. And then at the, the back ends I just hammered the ends down because they are sharp. So you have to do this in stages. So I did all this and then left it to dry. And then I had to come in and do the other side and I had to do that for all the trays. So this one does take time. Although <laughs> after I made it, I thought, oh, maybe you could get like wee nails for this. So I ordered some wee nails from Amazon. So next time I use the ribbon, the metal ribbon, I will use them and see if it works. So next part, I'm using some super glue wood glue and I'm going to glue all the tumbling tower blocks in place and I'm gluing one in each corner I did this for two of the trays and then I left them to set there's different things you could use for this part you could use you know the square double rods or you could use pieces of wood from Dollar Tree and you could use paint sticks, you could always like stick 
to the side instead of on the inside like this. So I didn't really let mine sit for that long. <laughs> so I thought I would turn on the side and I thought if I put a paint stick, a paint stick, a paintbrush underneath it just to hold those legs up, I could put it in place. Uh, I almost put the wrong one on. But it didn't really work. So I just turned it up and put it on like that. <laughs> and just eyeballed how well, not how. <laughs> I balled it to try and make sure it was as straight as I could get it. And then I didn't show it, but I put uh, some Mod Podge on top, a uh, bottle of Mod Podge, just because it was heavy, to till everything set. And this is how it turned out. And I think it turned out so beautiful. I love the blue and the silver ribbon. I was going to make this black and I'm so glad that I made it blue instead. And you can have this as we shelves or you could make it into a planter. Okay for this DIY I used 15 boxes of tower blocks and my boyfriend when he seen it he said no one's going to make that and I said I know but I need to get out of my head. <laughs> so I'm going to glue it to get uh, 12 blocks in a row and I'm going to make four rows and then uh, glue them all together and I make five of these then for the next layer I glue the blocks together in this shape and I made because I was making it but as I was going along I did mess up um, some of the pieces but I will tell you what you should make instead because I made four of these but I only needed three so in the next clip I show you that there is four but you only need three and then I, this is the same as the last clip, except you're cutting off the extra pieces. You can do that for all of the pieces, but some of them you're not going to see. So this is for on the shelf bits and for the, like, the top, if you want to make it a planter on the top. And I'll link the wee saw down below as well. So you yeah, just measure where you need to cut. And I had made four of these, but you actually need seven. I know it's a lot. This took me. This took me like, so you need seven, not four. <laughs> uh, it took me, I don't know, about six hours or something to glue it all and stain it and everything. So then you need four of these. This is like the third, um, yeah, the third level. And if you've watched me make these pyramids before, you can skip ahead. Because <laughs> it's just the same process. So all the other layers are four, not all of them actually, <laughs> are four pieces. And when I show you four pieces, it's correct. And then the last layer, the smallest one, is just two pieces. 
and you can cut off the inside bits if you want to. So yeah, I know this is a big, huge DIY, but I had it in my head for a while and I just had to make it. <laughs> Don't know if I'd make something this big again. <laughs> I was almost crying at the end of it because <laughs> it was so late. It took me longer than I thought it was going to take because I messed up a few bits. But you need four here as well. Yeah, I messed up a few bits and... Yeah, it was worth it in the end though. So here are another four pieces. And you'll make four of these as well. And I'll show you in the next clip that it's four. I'm getting near the end of the layers now. <laughs> and this is just the same like when I make the base for the lanterns. And you need four of them. And then this one's easy, it's just four blocks. And you need four of those. And the last piece is just three blocks and you only need two of those. Okay, these are the, this is the back of the shelf parts and you need eight blocks in a row. So eight blocks across and four blocks high and then just glue them across the way and then glue each row together once you they all fit fit together if that makes sense <laughs> because if you just glue them separately then well the rows separately then they're not going to fit together properly and i made three of these And then these are the sides and these are nine blocks across and four blocks high and I just did the same thing. I made the four rows and fit them together but then I glue, we can glue them at the same time. But I find it easier doing it like this. Okay, and then I made six of these. Oh, I haven't finished gluing yet. <laughs> oh, and you don't want to put, yeah, I made six of them. Don't want to put too much glue because you're going to see both sides. So here I have the base. I'm just going to glue the pyramid parts together and just measuring the sides with the tower blocks because I want it to be as equal on the sides as it can be. And then you just need to glue on the outside of these pieces. And I was missing a piece, <laughs> but I found it. And you could make these like I did the pyramid where you twisted the layers. You could do that if you wanted. Or you could just not bother with this part and just make the shelves. <laughs> and I will make the rest of the other three pyramids off camera and then show you. So 
So you just because you only need that top piece, you only need the one for this is either the base or the top, whichever way, because this is a double sided DIY. You just put them together like this. So this one has two bases on it and then I just used the ruler and I did have to turn it around to make sure it looked more however it's going to look most even. So this is the top and the base and see one side is open on one of them and that's so you can turn it around to make a planner or you could turn the whole DIY around and have it as just a little tabletop. So here I'm putting the, uh, the rest of it together and <laughs> this, this one fit in fine, these pieces, the back piece and the side pieces. Well, I had to keep swapping them around to see which ones were going to fit because the tower blocks are not the same size. Even when I made these panels, they weren't all the same size. So you should really leave that um, piece to, to dry before you start gluing on these panels. So I finally found the ones that were going to fit. <laughs> and then I glued them on. So that's the piece with eight, and then the pieces with nine, the rolls of nine are on the sides. And just make sure you clean up any glue because you don't want to see that when you stain it. So our uh, check-in and that one fit. <laughs> so I glued it down to one of these large the shelf pieces. And then I glued it on top of that. And I'll have to push it in place. <laughs> So this is what it looks like now. And then I just repeated the same steps. Except these pieces <laughs> didn't want to fit. So I did have to measure and use my resaw to cut off the corners because I don't know they were just I measured it <laughs> and then I made all the panels the same because I was thinking they were all gonna fit but they didn't so so you just have to cut a little corner a little, cut out a little piece and and it's gonna be at the back so you won't see it anyway and uh, I don't know why I didn't know better that all the tower blocks are not the same size. <laughs> you might be lucky and they might all fit if you even attempt to make this <laughs> DIY. So here was me measuring them and then to cut it out I just was figuring out how I was going to work, how I was going to cut, measure it to cut the piece I can't top today. <laughs> So I just put it to one corner and then I marked it off with the with a pencil. And then I used my wee saw to cut out a little piece on either end. So I just did the same for the other side.
and then I glued that together okay so this is what it should look like at this point <laughs> and now I have to do the same thing again and I'm just going to do it on this part and I cut out the sides on this already and this is what this piece looks like and that's the end that is can be a planter and then that's the other piece so I just have to glue the other um, square on and then glue them together but I do it off camera and then I stain it with the Jacobean wood stain by Minwax and then this is how it turned out if you have it as a little table on the top and you can just fill up the shelves with whatever little trinkets and stuff or you could put more plants in there and it didn't take me long to stain I thought it was going to but it didn't and I just love the Jacobean wood stain it makes cheap wood look expensive and then this is what it looks like if you want to fill the top with, with plants, I just put succulents from Dollar Tree and Walmart but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video, bye!